We are today at Craig Bradbrook's garage in Whitford, Essex. Craig is uh, servicing a vehicle today. The Peugeot 108 1.2 PureTech VTI, engine code EB2, 2014 model. The timing belt should be replaced at 112,000 miles or 120 months, whichever comes first. So it's important to keep a check on the belt swell. The vehicle manufacturer has now recommended that the timing belt should be checked within every service between 12,500 miles and 16,000 miles, or a maximum of one year. If the belt swells over the parameters it's allowed to swell, it will jam within the system. So we've supplied Craig with a tool so he can check this swell. First you take the old filler cap off uh, and use the Deco tool to check the belt swell. If this exceeds its limits then the belt has got too much swell in it and needs to be changed. We went ahead and changed it anyway. You have to take the inlet manifold off to actually get the rocker cover off. You have to take the scuttle panel off uh, and we took the engine mount off to, so you could move the engine forward uh, so you can actually sweep the inlet manifold out. Take the rocker cover off, coil packs out, jack the car up, take, take the driver's wheel off, the wheel arch liner. When we change the cam belt, you change the cam belt tensioner and you change the cam belt idler pulley as well. Uh, on the auxiliary side system, we actually change the alternator belt tensioner assembly as well. We actually check the oil pump pickup to make sure there's no debris on it, because that's quite a common issue. Uh, if the belt does have too much swell, uh, you get debris forming the sump and it will block the oil pickup and you have bad oil pressure problems. So as part, part of the course we took the sump off uh, and checked the pickup. Once the sump's removed you should be able to inspect the oil pump pickup strainer very easily. Maybe it can be cleaned but in some cases you'll need to change the oil pump. Secondly, if you find debris it's important to check the variable timing solenoid valves. If you find debris within the galls they may be able to be cleaned, but in some cases you will need to replace them. If your vehicle is fitted with a vacuum pump, it's important you check this also. And finally, if the vehicle is fitted with a turbo, check the turbo oil pipe. If you have debris within the oil, it's possible it could be collected at the banjo joint. So check the pipes and clean it. So during the installation, we decided to replace the water pump and the two auxiliary belts the 6PK 10.59pm and the 3PK 5.76 EE belt. Deco are the OE manufacturer for the belt in oil system fit on this vehicle. We also manufacture the auxiliary belts OE for this vehicle too. And we've replaced it with our belts and our auxiliary belts. We used the Deco tool to check the profile. This was a failure waiting to happen. The alternator belt uh, was in poor condition, it was very cracked. Uh, and starting to break up so that was changed uh, but the water pump belt was in good condition apart from it had a load of st stone debris in it. For the camshaft system you need a camshaft locking tool kit that has a, uh, a tool that locks the two camshafts in the correct position, uh, a another tool that will lock the uh, crankshaft pulley in the right position. Um, on the auxiliary side system uh, you will need a tool for fitting the water pump belt back on uh, because it is a stretch belt and you have to put the tool on top of the water pump pulley and then turn the engine and that will uh, ride the belt over without damaging it. The two pulleys on the camshafts, the inlet, one's marked inlet, one's marked exhaust. You've got to make sure they go back on the right way when you put them back on and make sure they're talked up to the correct torque setting. Put the inlet pulley on first. If you don't, then it's a very struggle uh, to get it on after you put the exhaust pulley on. 